Muy buenos días amigos, nos encontramos en el tercer día del sexto coloquio internacional de ciencias cognitivas. Nuevamente estamos en una cápsula de entrevistas. El día de hoy nos encontramos con... Uh, bueno, la, la entrevista va a ser en inglés, obviamente. Uh, excuse me, I don't want to mispronounce your name. Can you present Claire. yourself? So I'm Claire Petit Mangin. Petit Mangin is a French name. I have six questions about uh, six? very general topics <laughs> on cognitive science. So, uh, Feel free to answer as you think more comfortable. The first, the first one is, how do you define cognitive science? Um, as a, a science focusing on cognitive processes. As a single science or? No, it, it's in fact, yeah, you, you're, you're right. <laughs> it's a, a set of sciences. Any any discipline being able to study one aspect of cognitive processes is, is including cognitive sciences. So there, there are many, there are some yeah. neuroscience, linguistics, or psychology. What was your uh, motivation for doing the research that you do? Um, my, my, my motivation was um, I was uh, surprised by the lack of uh, study, interest in experience, lived experience, what we live. Mm -hmm. And um, it was difficult to find a book on, the, on this, uh, a course. Uh, Especially, uh, I began with studies in philosophy mm -hmm. at the Sorbonne in Paris, mm -hmm. and there was no course in on what we live experience. There were abstract courses mm -hmm. on concepts, and I was very disappointed by that. So it was my first motivation. And would you actually? It's very common that you see books or handbooks that are called visual experience and they talk about everything related to visual processing but not experience. <laughs> <laughs> Now, even nowadays, but I felt that, as you have told in your talk, uh, the works of Varela have changed this shift in a good way, I think. I think so. Uh, the third question third, is uh, Which ones has been your main influence in your work? Um, I would say uh, Francisco Varela, mm -hmm. of course. He was my PhD advisor and he was uh, convinced that it was one, one of, the, of the only scientists at the time convinced that uh, it would, it's necessary, it's Uh, completely mandatory if we want to understand the mind to create methods for exploring it. experience not only what we can measure from the outside and uh, at the time there was no such method but he himself was influenced by, by um, his practice of uh, Buddhist meditation which is a, a method to do that to explore inner experience and At the time, at the same time, in fact, three months before I met Farilla, I met um, an old meditation teacher, and I, and I never stopped from this moment to be involved in meditation practice. So, so maybe these two are the main, the main influences on me. <laughs> Even as I remember. Varel explicitly calls that Buddhism is a part important of the embodied mind because they thought that it was a real rigorous way to understand experience. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Um, the fourth one is, well, I think it's a question that could be very long or very short. It depends on how much do you want to talk about this topic. Um, How do you summarize the state of art of your research team or subject matter? Um, we have now two methods which become 
begin to become well established, even if there are uh, still research to do mm -hmm. on it. So an interview method and an analysis method for analyzing these interviews. And both become to be strong and but um, and we have a number of applications of the method in many domains, so it is very large. In the artistic domain, in the uh, cognitive domain, educational domain, uh, uh, therapeutical and clinical domains, um, in, the, in the contemplative domain, because meditation is also uh, can be studied with microphenomenology. In the ecological domain, we study the experience of nature, for example, uh, sportive domain. Uh, so many, any domain of experience can be studied with microphenomenology. There is no, it, it excludes nothing. Um, this is a personal question, not from the questions for the terminate. Uh, microphenomology, microphenomology is kind of new or something like that? Or yeah, it's, kind of. It's something very new or not? Has a long time. Oh, no, no, not a long time. Uh, the, the, the word, the name was created maybe in 10 years ago. 10 years ago. And uh, this method relied on a method created in the 90s mm. by uh, the French psychologist Claire Vermeersch under mm. the name of Entretien d'explicitation in French. Mm. Uh, and this method so has been adapted to research by myself, on the instigation of Francisco Varela, while I was a, a PhD student. Mm -hmm. So to, stu to study first the experience, the experience accompanying the emergence of an intuition, it was my PhD study, mm -hmm. and then uh, the experience of the anticipation of epileptic seizures, because Varela was working with an uh, epileptologist. So it, so it started like this, and uh, I don't remember your question. <laughs> Which paradigm, which paradigm of cognitive science do you subscribe to? Of course, of course, I'm more inactivist, but in a in a sense, in a way that many inactivist in the in cognitive science would not recognize because it is an action as a lived experience, and it is very different. <laughs> My research is very different from the research who other on an activists do in other disciplines. <laughs> very different. Yeah, it's a very wide <laughs> spectrum. Mm -hmm. uh, our final questions: um, Which research theme is from your interest, and um, you have not working on it yet, and why? No, for me, I hopefully uh, I have already uh, scratched the surface of at least of <laughs> the research I wanted to, to do in my life, and uh, um, the research which is the most important for me. It's the one I, I explained mm -hmm. in this uh, conference. Is, is uh, um, the co-constitution of the self and the world, it's really an action, in, from an experiential view, and how this, uh, how this process uh, unfolds and how it dissolves. Mm -hmm. So it's for me really what the, the most important things to, stu to study. <laughs> oh, excellent. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, Thank you. <laughs>